Let's look at naming ketones. So ketones are a priority group, and when they are the highest priority group in your compound, we will name them as a ketone parent chain with the O-N-E suffix. Okay. If there's a higher priority group present in your compound than the ketone, and the ketone is also present, we will name that ketone as an oxo group as a subordinate group, a non-priority group in the parent chain, if that higher priority group is present. So let's look at a few examples. In each case, when we name a compound, we always circle the parent chain. That way we can see, easily see the names of groups that we, that we are, or that, of groups intersecting that circle that need to have a name. Each one of those groups also needs a number, so we're going to number the parent chain, physically write the numbers to make sure we match everything up properly, and then we'll check for stereochemistry every time as we assemble the names so that we don't miss any important pieces. Okay, well now uh, let's have a look at a few examples when the ketone is the highest priority group. Here we are um, asked to circle the parent chain. So I'm going to grab that ketone into the parent chain. And then any alkene that we can get in, we should. So we do that. But then we have a choice. So we've got a couple tiebreakers here. We've got a bromo and a lower priority group, an amino group here. Okay, because it's lower, the amine is lower in priority than the ketone, it becomes an amino group in the presence of that ketone. Um, we have the equal number of carbons. We have equal number of groups. They're equally substituted. So we default alphabetically to amino for our parent chain. Okay, so the tiebreaker, there's a video on all the tiebreakers also posted as well. Well, now that we've got our groups, um, that's not just a bromo group now. It's a substituted group that we need to name systematically. And so we've got the position where it connects to the parent chain there, carbon one and then carbon two. So this is going to be a systematically named one bromoethyl group that we'll put in parentheses. Okay, when we number the parent chain, we need the high or the lowest number on our highest priority group. So one, two, three, four to the alkene, five, six, and seven. And our alkene does have stereochemistry indicated, even though our chiral centers do not. So we'll have to look at that. We've got um, carbon versus hydrogen is high and low here. And then carbon to bromine, carbon to nitrogen, carbon to bromine wins, high versus low that's going to be an E stereocenter. So let's put this name together now that we've got all that accounted for. So here we have two groups um, alphabetically. Amino comes first, so we have um, a six amino, but that stereochemistry, let's go ahead and throw that in as E and a six amino and a five in parentheses, one bromoethyl, close parentheses, and then seven carbons, we have a hept, fourene, drop the E because of the vowel coming up next, two own. Okay, so six amino, five, one bromoethyl, hept, fourene, Hept because of seven carbons, alkene at carbon four, highest priority group is own to own. When multiple ketones are present, we can circle our parent chain here and they're all going to be included. They're not subjugated groups, they are part of the parent chain. We're going to number to lower the first encountered ketone. Well, that can be a two no matter which way we go. So then the next one, it's better to have a two, three than it is to have a two, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Because there are three, we're gonna have a trione, but let's put the name together here. No stereochemistry in this compound. 
we have a hex aim two, three, and five trione. Hexane two, three, five trione. We could alternatively name this as a two, three, five hexane trione if we chose to bring the locants out front. Notice the E here separates two consonants. That's why it was put in um, to separate those consonants. Now suppose the ketone is a subordinate group. The aldehyde is a higher priority group on our table. Okay, so we're going to use that as the parent chain. It gets the lower number as well. We name it as an oxo group. So this would be no stereochemistry needed, a 4-oxo pentanal. No number needed for the aldehyde because it's automatically the first carbon of, the, of its parent chain.